Right guys, Mark Crossfield here. I love this swing because this guy contradicts so much about what people think happens if you swing around or up or under plane or all the fancy words that make not much sense to me. Um, let's show you what I mean. Let's get stuck in. Right, I love this action. If there's issues with this action. You can see the ball starting left and it's going to cut off to the right. This player is swinging out to in. His path is moving left. But what is funny is his backswing is behind him. It's low and around. It's flat. It's under plane. It's, it's what lots of people think would make you hit more from the inside, which I always think is really interesting. Now, the other thing is he starts his downswing. His downswing isn't particularly... If you had a static line on there, it wouldn't be over the top of that line. It would still be underneath it. So you know these kind of lines, they're just angles that people draw on a flat screen and talk about, you know, planes and I do it, you know, there's lines just to try and illustrate some points. But when we start talking about the word plane, which I really struggle with, this one, this guy contradicts everything that lots of people believe. So what he, he goes around, he comes from around, but then he swings way left. And the reason he does that is when he hits the ball, he has got no desire to go this way. He is turning massively left with his shot hips, which is all good. You'll see world-class players opening their hips up, but they're doing it from a point of getting onto their front foot, moving the pressures onto their left foot before exploding out of it. He is just turning without the shift, which will move a really a rounded angled swing, what people would call under plane or flat, it can move that path left, it could move it right if he just shoved his weight across. So for me with this guy what I would like to do is play with his and maybe other people's ideas of what plane and path mean if they're the same thing. Often they're very different things, they're two separate measurements but people lump them into one group. Um, I want you to hit some shots like you're doing, take the club away behind you, do what you want but on the downswing I want you to feel like you're not opening your hips up, I want you to feel like you're just hitting square on with your hips. Just feel like you're just going to the side. Don't open up. Loads of pressure going onto your left side. You will find your direction, your start direction of the shot and your curvature will completely change. Now, some people would argue, yeah, but he goes around so low, he has to come over the top. Absolutely not true. He doesn't have to do anything. And he might come over the top of where he goes back, but he isn't over the top of a static line if we drew it kind of through his shoulders kind of thing which lots of people want to reference. For me it would be about I would move his backswing maybe a fraction higher as time goes on but I would want him to understand how to control path this way. So if you imagine as an exaggeration here if I've got the ball in the middle of my feet with this seven iron I simply move a foot behind it and try and hit it there's a good chance as I hit that ball, that club's going to be moving left. If I don't do anything, it's going to be going up and left. If I try and reach out for the ball, the chances of me trying to keep the path straight from there, I mean, I could do it, but it would be a big ask. It would naturally be going left. So if I had to hit this shot, I'd be aiming at the left, knowing I'm going to have a face open to a path because my path's going to go further left than I want it to, and I would cut it in. Do you see what I mean? I've gone behind it, where if I was to stand back here, make a downswing and then move ahead, I know this ball's going to start more to the right, so I'm going to try and move ahead aiming to the right. So my dynamic impact position forward or back of the ball can influence my path dramatically as much and more often than just looking at this one dimension that people look at here on a flat screen, which can mean nothing. I can hit the ball out to in, into out from down here, as I equally can from up here, hit any path I choose to hit. For me, the swing is definitely around your body. I would not change that though until I get you controlling path in a certain way. And what often you find with players like this, when you get them controlling path, they can have their quirky movements, like Ray Floyd, like many others that we see throughout the world. If they can control their path with a simple thought, so moving their pressures across, rather than rebuilding the whole thing but not move path in any way, they're going to hit better shots and they're going to play better golf. And that's all, you, that's all we want. We want you hitting better shots, enjoying it more and playing more, really. Do you see what I mean? You don't need to be. The position police are going to love this one. In fact, I think I can hear them 
Come in, I better go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Post comments down below. Love to hear what you've got to say. Does this make sense or not? This is a common, common misunderstanding amongst many. I'd love to hear if it makes any sense. Speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always and see you soon.